Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write repeating decimals using bar notation. Now simply put, bar notation is a shorter way to write repeating decimals. Because after all, repeating decimals never end, so we need a shorter way to write them out. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 0.4 repeating. So when we write repeating decimals using bar notation, we place a bar over the digit or group of digits that repeat. For number one, we have a repeating four. So we need a bar over that digit, the four, that repeats. We would write this as zero. Let's start with the zero to show that we do not have any whole numbers. Our decimal and then the four. We put a bar over that four to show that it repeats. So that's how you write 0.4 repeating using bar notation. And it's as simple as that. It's not overly complicated or anything like that. It's just a matter of knowing what the bar means and how to write these out. Let's move on to number two, where we have 0.36 repeating. So here we have two digits that repeat. So we would write our zero to show that we do not have any whole numbers, the decimal, and then the two digits that repeat the three and the six. Put a bar above both of those digits because both of them repeat. So that's how you would write 0.36 repeating using bar notation. On to number three, where we have 0.83 and the three is repeating, not the eight. So we would write this as zero decimal eight three and the bar goes above the three only because that's the digit that repeats. And lastly, number four, we have 9.752 repeating. I'm going to write this one underneath so I have enough room. We have three digits that repeat here, the seven, the five, and the two. So let's write our whole number of nine, seven, five, two, and we need a bar above that group of three digits there because all three digits repeat, 752. And that's how you would write 9.752 using bar notation. So there you have it. There's how you write repeating decimals using bar notation. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.